can you think of anything more dreamy than spending the day in the country trying on wedding dresses? Today, thanks to my in-laws for providing the countryside and JJ's house for providing wedding dresses, I get to live a day of my dreams. <laughs> I got married in this little country town back in 2005. It was a gorgeous day in July in Texas. Everyone who came remembered it being scorching hot, but I just remembered it being magical and beautiful and the most amazing day ever. We got married in the same church as my husband's parents and his grandparents. And then we had our reception at this beautiful old mansion. Truly, it was perfection. The only thing that I would change was the wedding dress shopping experience. I don't know how much things have changed since, but back in 2005, it was very difficult to actually go into a store and try on a plus size wedding dress. Up to this point in my life, until hopefully literally today, <laughs> I have never tried on a wedding dress that actually fit. Like first time, zipped her up, it works. I can then evaluate from there, right? When I was trying on dresses, I was about a size 20, the dress that ended up becoming the dress, which I did love. I had to try on in a sample size 12. That was the largest that they had. They took some fabric and clipped it in and I looked at it and I didn't get a true image of what it looked like. Now I looked at it and I thought, this is the dress that I want to get married in and it's beautiful. It still is beautiful. <laughs> the bridal store that I went to actually did my measurements and ordered based on that. When the dress came in, it was too small and it was too short and we spent a fortune doing alterations. If I could go back in time, I don't really know what I would change, but I can say that today's Meredith would look into a lot of other options. We've got the world at our fingertips that we didn't totally have back then. So JJ's house actually has two options that are helpful for that. They've got a try before you buy. There are limited dresses and limited sizes in it, but you can alert them and let them know what you're looking for. And basically you can order up to three dresses for $15 a piece, and these are standard sizes. If you choose to keep one of those, then you'll get 20% off of that dress. And then the other option is to find a style that you love and have that dress custom made for 20 additional dollars. I did that with my last JJ's house video, which were formal dresses, and they came out so beautifully. There were some dresses that I liked more than others, but let me tell you, if I had chosen any single one of those gowns, I would have been amazingly happy. I was 100% spoiled for choice. <laughs> so in this, they sent me some really awesome accessories. I've got a beautiful veil. I've got some flowers. I have a tiara. I've got like an underskirt. Oh, um, I have like a wedding day girdle. I've got some really awesome things that I will give you my opinions on at the end. But what I really can't wait to do is dig into these dresses and see how they are. I was able to choose these. JJ's house sent them to me free of charge. And just so you're aware, they do have a destination that is not here. We have a local philanthropy called Northwest Assistance Ministries, and they have a resale shop. And that resale shop goes to fund all of their programming. They have a food bank. They have a women's shelter. They do a toy drive. There are so many different things that they do to help the community. So that is the final destination of these gowns after I get to play in them a little bit with you. <laughs> I chose lots of different silhouettes. I tried to get different arm lengths. I tried to get different gown lengths just to kind of give us an idea of what was out there. I wear a size 22 in regular clothing and these are all custom made to my measurements. Just looking at this one through the bag, I feel romance. The beautiful eyelash lace on the bottom is speaking to me. If I was looking for myself, this was one of the two that I would absolutely be torn between. I love it. This is an ivory dress. It's off the shoulder. It just feels so incredibly romantic. When I did the JJ's house, this was the one that I chose to like come across the screen. I think that this one's right around $200. And I think that it is so romantic and so beautiful. One of the things that I requested was a sash. And I think I'm gonna see how, I don't know that it needs it, but I think I'm gonna see how the beaded sash looks on this dress. The back here is another one where we're lacing it up. It's gonna be a time consuming job getting in there and that's okay. Ah, oh, and look at the bottom. The train is so beautiful. It has some really pretty tool and then the, the lace is like applique on all the way around. I mean, the detail work is just phenomenal. 
Okay, this one feels so ethereal. This is my second time filming it because we were doing it when there was like crazy stark light on me. I'll probably add a little video over here and I talked my amazing husband into putting it back on me before the sun totally went down and I love it. I mean, I think that this is probably not my very favorite, but it is definitely in the top and if this was the one that I chose, I would be happy. There's something about the sweetheart neckline that just says romance to me. I don't know what it is. It's I, 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 like I love the name Sweetheart. I love the way that it looks. I love how it flows off the shoulders. It just feels like I'm going to find my true love. <laughs> that sounds so silly, but it's how I feel. I'm going to show you how it moves. It has this eyelash lace, which in the country catches everything. Earlier, whenever I tried it on, and I'll show you some pictures, I had the big poofy chapel skirt. This time I'm just letting it go natural. I also had the sequin belt, and this time I decided to out and be a little bit royal and add the tiara. Here's the other half of the dresses that I'm choosing between as if I'm getting married again. I'm not, not getting married. <laughs> this one, I think, was and still is the winner. Ah! <laughs> it's the most beautiful dress ever. So it's off the shoulder, it has cap sleeves, there's beading, there's lace, there's applique. Really, this dress has everything that I think I could possibly want. This one has the belt built on. And one thing that I like about that, you know, as someone who is plus size, is that purchasing one from JJ's house or any type of wedding retailer, they're going to basically be one size. And so when I put it on, it's going to go only so far. Whereas if someone who's much smaller than me, it might cover more of their waist. It's just something to be aware of. And so because this one has one that's kind of built on, it is done all the way around. I love the back buttons and I love even more that they're not real because, uh, oh, nope, I lied. <laughs> the top ones are, it zips up to here and, uh, and then it buttons at the top. So that's gonna be some work for my husband and helpmate who's going to be helping get me into these bad boys pretty soon. <laughs> I think that uh, this is the one that from the pictures I thought, oh my gosh, this is the dress that I love. And in person, this is my favorite. I don't know what it's gonna look like on, but just out of the bag, it is gorgeous. Ah. <laughs> So let me show you some of the accessories that I have. I have a tiara and I chose it in gold. It is incredibly gold. I did wear a tiara for my wedding. We still have it, but I let my daughter play with it because you know, why not whenever she was little? It's not in pristine condition. And then I have this gorgeous veil. This one's like a chapel length. Here, I'm gonna pull this dress off so you don't get confused on what's what. So this veil is absolutely beautiful. It, I couldn't tell online whether it was beading or sequins or just applique, but it is definitely like sequins and embroidery and it is all the way around and she's beautiful. <laughs> and then I am not the biggest fan of artificial flowers, but they had artificial flowers. They were a great price. I thought it'd be good to see what they came in like. Now I did fluff them up just a little bit, but I didn't add anything or do anything to them. And I do think that they're actually lovely. They're substantial. And the interesting thing is that the silks totally vary. There is a tighter silk in here. There is a, you know, a wider silk rose. And then there are even some kind of foam roses. So it gives a whole lot of different textures. I went to a wedding recently in Missouri, which there, everyone says Missouri in the parts where we're from. And they had some artificial flowers and I would not have known until I got close to them. They were gorgeous. They could get them done ahead of time and they were cost efficient. So kind of like win, win, win. And then I have a second shorter veil. Um, this one's a satin edged veil. <laughs> ah, I love it. <laughs> okay. Beautiful. And then of course I have a plus size petticoat. All right, this one is my favorite. I absolutely love it. I love the way that it sits. I love all of the sparkle. I like to have a little bit of bling. I'm wearing heels, but we're out in the country. So they are definitely digging into the ground. Here, let me walk forward and show you the motion. I'm gonna turn. It's got a really nice train in the back.
I think that this one's just gorgeous. When I got married, I wear a size 12 shoe and it is, uh, it's, and it's difficult to find. It was way worse to find back in 2005. My mom ordered them online that she thought would fit. They came in, they were too small. And so some of my friends ran and the only store that we had back then <laughs> out here was Walmart and got me some house shoes. And I'm gonna show you my wedding picture and you can actually see them peeking <laughs> in. They were so comfortable, nobody knew. And you know what, after putting them on, I didn't think about them the whole time, which is saying a lot for shoes. If I was to get married again, I could absolutely go for this dress. Like this was my favorite in pictures. It was my favorite opening and it is probably my favorite on. Ah, it just has everything. I might love this more than I love my actual wedding dress. Sorry, mom. <laughs> it's gorgeous. I would love to know what you think about this one. Whenever I first put it on, there are a lot of these buttons on the, the half buttons on the top. Took a little while. And I did think that it was a little bit snug on the cap sleeves. Feeling it on, I think that it's perfect. I'm pretty sure this is the short one. So JJ's house actually ships all of their dresses inside out. It's to protect any kind of detailing that there is on the front. This one really reminded me kind of of Marilyn Monroe. It's got a high low effect. So it almost touches the ground in the back and then it's pretty high in the front. This rather than chiffon is tulle. And then the end has a stiffener. And so at least on the model, it gave the effect of lots and lots of pretty volume. The bust is a little bit low and then it's got some gathering underneath. And I'm just so interested to see how this one translates. It looks super young and fun. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I'm starting with the veil, but it might not work because of the wind. <laughs> this one is fun, but it's not really what I'm looking for for a wedding. I think that it's got some very flirty vibes. It has kind of a little bit of Marilyn Monroe feel to it. It is sassy and fun. It would be great to dance in. I think maybe I'm taking this off. Sorry, it's, it's just not doing it for me. I think maybe for an engagement party or something like that, it would be a whole lot of fun. It's also a little bit too low cut for me. I'm wearing my normal bra because that is how I'm comfortable, <laughs> but it's more low cut than I really feel comfortable in. But I do love all of the layers. I like the high low. I like being able to put on boots and not sink into <laughs> to the ground. Because I'm out in the country, I thought that boots were the way to do it. I almost think that this would look really good with like a little fascinator as opposed to the full veil. I'm setting this down and then I'm gonna give a full spin. <laughs> it does have a lot of fun, a lot of possibility. Well, this is really my only one that's not in the white family. It's not white or off-white. I got this one in the picture colored, which I think I would call champagne. I just thought that it was really, really lovely on the model. Now this one actually had a picture on a plus size model and it did look a lot more, maybe like a prom dress, but I was really hooked by the beading and wanted to see what it would do. This one has like a drawstring back. Look at the detailing on the front of this. It's got a lot of applique and beading work. It's got a bunch of beautiful pleating made out of the tool right here on the front on the cuffs. And then from the waist, it goes down. This one doesn't have any kind of train and I don't have a veil that's going to pair with it. I think this is a very unique cut. So far, this is the closest to my actual wedding gown in style. All right, I think that this one is really sweet. It's very different. This one could easily double as a prom gown. It's a totally different color. I think that the champagne's very pretty and youthful. And I think that it really complements this bouquet very well. One thing that was very fun was the trying to figure out, I've literally never had a dress that, duh, wasp, that does the corseting before. So when we did it, it was too tight to fit over my hips. So we went over the top, it was an adventure. Uh, but you know, that's, that's the way fake weddings are supposed to be. This one is a little lower maintenance as it doesn't have any kind of train or anything. It would be great for dancing. You wouldn't have to worry about any type of bus and this one I think you could choose in just about any color. I think that this one was not limited to like the champagne white and cream but I could be wrong. I'll put it on here somewhere and I just think that there's some really nice unique detailing in it. There's applique that goes down here and I do think that the pleating along the bust is actually incredibly attractive. I think that the back has a lot going for it and it's got so many beautiful layers. Uh, it's got some built-in petticoat and I might actually try and see what it looks like with the fuller skirt. Okay, adding a hoop skirt totally 
transform the dress. Um, the way that I feel the most transformation is in that I feel like that I've got some air conditioning on the inside. But if you're looking for more of a ball gown look, this went from kind of a simple A-line to a total ball gown. I don't have a veil that matches this one and you do have to realize like it lifts up a little bit. In fact, I think that you can see uh, my flats. I'm wearing flats now because my heels were kind of digging into the ground. I think this one's got a lot going for it. Ugh. If you're a fan of sleeves, I think this one's for you. This one is the heaviest by far and it is mostly bridal satin. This one is like a true ivory and it has just a pretty sweet bow right here in the center. It's got cups and then it does have um, pretty much full sleeves. I'm so interested to see how these fit on me. I always am concerned that it won't work on my arms because I don't send my arm measurements. It's got satin covered buttons here at the wrist. The top is all applique and lace and then it goes down to beautiful box pleats and has a really pretty train. I think this will be lovely with either veil. The crazy thing is that I came so close to not getting this dress and I chose it because of the sleeves. I thought, you know what, I really need one with sleeves. I have so many people that watch me that say that they want to cover their arms. And I thought that this one was lovely. I think that this is definitely in my top three. It really is beautiful. I like the way that it moves. Wait until you see the back. <laughs> Thank you. It has buttons all the way down. There's some contrast with the lacing up and the top. I think that all in all, this one has so much interest. It's definitely the most modest of the dresses that I chose. It does have a slight v-neck, but it's certainly not low. Yeah, I just think that it's got a little bit of everything. It's got applique, it's got lace, it has beautiful bridal satin, it's got the box pleats. This one is totally a win. This one, I believe is one of my only ones that I got in white. So you can choose like white, um, ivory. There are a lot of different shades. With my skin tone, typically ivory looks a little bit better than stark white for the contrast. This one is an asymmetric one shoulder. It is incredibly unique. That's kind of what I was going for. It has a really long sash. Uh, it doesn't really have any train to speak of, but it's got a lot of gathering. I don't know exactly what this is going to do for me. Of all of them, this is kind of my wild card because of the really fitted silhouette. It doesn't always work with my body type, but I'm happy to see what it does. The outer layer is chiffon. There's a lot of gathering. I had so much trouble trying to narrow it down to six dresses. <laughs> because not not only was I trying to choose like what my favorite was I really wanted a big variety and I am super drawn to like the off the shoulder and so I was like no you can only have one of those <laughs> so so whenever I sent this I sent this one to several friends and they're like oh no 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 that one's not gonna do good things but I did it anyway y'all let me know if they were right okay this one's actually way better than expected I kind of thought that I was taking a risk with this one and the Maryland one it didn't pay off with the Maryland one but I do like this I was worried because I'm very much an apple body shape I don't have a super defined waist and this is a very form-fitting style but I think that it's lovely it's very simple we we've been filming most of the day and we've just hit sunset so we've changed our location and I just want to take a moment of appreciation but I do like this one. I think that it's simple in its own right. It has a lot of tucks in the chiffon. I can feel right here where the chiffon ends and a new piece begins, but you can't actually see it. Uh, it has a bow on my shoulder and these beautiful drapey chiffon pieces that I think take the place of a really long veil. I think this would be great with like a little blusher or a birdcage veil. I really don't think that it needs much. I think it has some drama. There's no train, but Look at the flow. Walking off into the sunset. I totally forgot to mention that it's only got one arm, but y'all saw that, so we're all right. All in all, I think that this one's lovely, and if it's your style, it's totally worth giving it a try, regardless of your body shape. These were cut to my measurements, and I think that JJ's House did an excellent job. All in all, I've been so pleased with everything that I've gotten from JJ's House. I would say that of the wedding collection, my favorite was probably this one, the one with the built-in belt, followed by, you know what? It's like a tie between this one 
and the one with the long sleeves, which was like a total out of the park. I didn't know that I would love it, but I did. My least favorite is the short one. I feel like it was way too short on me, first off, and really short's just not what I'm going for in a wedding gown. Uh, you know what? I thought the one that was body contouring was actually really nice. Um, it, that one kind of surprised me. And then which one am I missing? Oh, and then the ball gown, the one that could totally double as a prom gown. I am trying to debate whether I should send that to the bridal boutique or if I should send that to Giving Gown where the girls get their prom gown. And I'd love your input on that because I totally think that that could absolutely double as a prom gown and Giving Gown can always use some gorgeous plus size gowns. So I would love to know your thoughts. I feel like the construction is on point. I've only gotten dresses from them that were cut to my size. So I don't know what the standard sizing is like, but I will say that cut to my size, I've been happy with it in formals and I've been happy with it in wedding gowns. Of the ones that I would have legitimately chosen for myself, I totally would have been happy for my wedding. If y'all have used JJ's house, I'd love to hear about your experience. If you like this video, it totally helps me if you like it. And if you wanna see more content from me, I do a lot of plus size fashion. I do subscription boxes. I really kinda do whatever, uh, just kinda trips my fancy. I would love it if you subscribed and hung around. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next one.